Hello guys, what's up? My name is Enoch. This is XTech Studios, XTech IT support. Today I'm going to show you how to use the USB port at the back of this table net. This is the newest model on the market, the ZT model. We had the old models from Huawei. Those ones they didn't come with a USB port, but the ZTE model came with a USB port. I usually get calls all the time from clients, customers asking me what this USB is all about. So today I'm going to show you what this is about. All right. So first things first, you are supposed to power your TurboNet, connect it to your laptop. As I've done, I've connected the cable to my laptop. Next thing is you plug in your flash drive at the back of the ZT model of the TurboNet, just like this. All right next thing is you access the usb story device on your laptop so if you can see my laptop screen right now the icon already shows that i've connected to the zte that is it so next thing is you open a file browser just like that then you go to the navigation bar or address bar and type a double slash just like this slash and you type the default IP address of the table net which is 192.168.0.1 then you type another slash with admin just like this you click enter and you wait for a prompt just like that um, username is always admin password is always admin if you want to remember my credentials you take so that next time you want to access a story drive it doesn't ask for username and a password again then you click on ok you wait just some few seconds oh I said my password isn't correct let me try again admin click OK and that is it so this is the content of the uh, flash drive at the back of the table net for easy access to the story drive you can just map the, uh, the network drive or the drive you first go to map network drive then you type the same address you type in the navigation bar 192.168.0.1 slash admin you click on finish so that is that so anytime you um, turn on your laptop you go to this PC you see the story drive just there like that you know all the time is always going to be accessible so anytime you plug a, a flash drive at the back of the table net you don't have to come to the navigation bar to type your 192 you can easily access it from here just like that so another thing we can use the TableNet USB port for is backups Windows 10 has a feature where you can configure to automatically backup files and folders onto an external storage drive our external storage drive can be a USB storage attached to the ZTE router so this is how we set it up you go to the start you just type backup so that is it here backup settings go to add a drive no usable drives found let's go to more options see advanced settings select a drive add a network location so we come to the navigation type our slash with 192.168.0.1 slash admin enter and we select our drive so that is it here click on ok and you turn it on 
immediately you turn it on it will start our first backup so automatically it's going to backup copy files from libraries desktop contact and favorite but if you want to change the files that you wanted to back up to we go back go back to our backup settings as you can see we have automatically backup my files go to more options all right so over here you can easily start your backup right now backup files every hour keep my backups either forever or for a year or two and below are the things or are the list of folders that are being backed up every hour we have the downloads we have contacts desktop it has mostly almost all the important places on your PC. If you don't want any of the folders to back up, you can easily select and go to remove to remove the folder from your backup list. So that is another way you can use the USB port on the ZTE TurboNet. Alright guys, so that is how the USB port at the back of the TurboNet works. If you like this video, just give me a like, share, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Let everybody know about this video and don't forget to subscribe.